Hi, this is Simon Obstel and welcome to this quick tip for Apple Motion. And today I want to show you how to create this effect where in this grid of squares, we can scale up one square and all the others will scale in the opposite direction. So let's take a look at how it's done. OK, so for this project, I'm going with 1080 by 1080, 24 frames a second, duration of 10 seconds. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make a square. So I'm going to come down to the rectangle tool, F7 for the HUD, turn on fill, turn off outline, and then holding down the shift and option keys, I'm going to draw out a rectangle like that, and I'm going to center it up, come over to the shape, geometry. For the size, I'm going with 180, and let's give it some corner roundness of 10. So then what we're going to do is make a replicator out of this. So object replicate will have a size of 800. So what we want to be able to do is to take one of these boxes and have it scale the others in the opposite direction. So we're going to take this source rectangle and we're going to make a clone of it. So right click, make clone layer, and we're going to drag that out to the top. So I'm just going to do some color here. So let's take the original rectangle and come over to style and let's choose a color for that. And for my clone here, I'm going to add a stylize and fill. And let's just pick another color for that, just so we can differentiate this particular square. OK, so what we want to be able to do is, as I say, link the scale of this inversely to the scale of all the other squares. So it's not quite as easy as you think. And let's just first of all come into the replicator and select the scale, add parameter behavior and link, and then select the clone. And what we need to do here is we need to select properties, transform and scale all. So you'd think we could just apply a negative scale. So negative one ought to work. So if we come to the clone here and we scale it, ah, no, it's not working the way we want it to. So what we have to do is come back into this link here and we have to add an offset to the X, Y and Z. And that offset is negative 200. So negative 200 for all three of those. And then if we come back to our clone, now we have got the effect that we want. So very simple, really. And I'm just going to do a few couple of extra things just to make this a little bit neater. So we don't actually want to scale below 100%. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add to the scale, add parameter behavior and clamp. And I'm going to clamp the minimum to 100. So there we go. And us adjust the scale like this. You can see that even if I go sort of negative with the scale, we're, we're clamped at 100. So clamp is quite useful. We could even decide actually we want to clamp the maximum at 200. So that's where the others have disappeared. So we could come back into our clamp and set that maximum to 200. And now we've got a, a sensible range that we can't go beyond. So clamp is quite a useful option there. So the other thing I want to be able to do is to take this square and to move it over any of the other squares without any sort of intermediate position. Let's reset that. So to do that, I'm going to come to the position and I'm going to add parameter behavior and quantize. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quantize it to 200 pixels. And now if I grab that square, you can see that it sticks to all the other squares like that. Very neat and you know, back to our original plan, this scales the other boxes inversely. So hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.